uh, welcome everyone. We are here with uh, Katrina Vučković, youth work uh, specialist based in Bosnia and Herzegovina, working across Europe and doing some amazing work with uh, community-based youth, uh, youth work. Uh, let's start from the beginning. So who is uh, Kaya? Thank you for introducing me with my nickname. Uh, yeah, Kaya is, I guess, the, the real me. Um, and um, yeah, I'm a youth worker. I would say for myself, even I'm like for a very long time now in a project uh, management. Uh, I'm very connected with young people and with hap what happens in the youth field, especially in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but like regionally and Euro Europeanly. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, I'm uh, very connected with young people. I started as, a, as a, a young person in a youth bank project and uh, I wanted to do some participation on my own and make some decisions on my own. So I started encouraging other young people by, to apply for youth bank uh, possibilities and actually made some first decisions on what should happen in Brčko uh, at that time and what young people should do or shouldn't do. Um, and since then, I, I worked uh, as a trainer and a facilitator and a youth worker in a, in a youth club, in a youth center, uh, in international youth organization, um, and cooperated with many, many numerous of young people um, across uh, Europe. Um, and very happy, actually, in this week, I received messages from 2008 and 2012, and this morning from last year, from youth workers and young people who my contribution and youth participation and what they learned from me actually contributed to their lives. So I'm very kind of happy that this interview happens today um, in, in that sense. So yeah, if you ask me very simply, who is Kaya, then yeah, she's a youth worker. that I learned uh, throughout my work with all organizations that I cooperated with all in Bosnia and Herzegovina regionally and internationally is the human approach. So regardless what we do, um, regardless the topic that young people are interested in or how we invite them into a youth center or a youth club, it's very important to have a, a people to people and human um, approach. So we need to put ourselves as youth workers in the shoes of a young person who is like very interested in a, in a, in a specific music or in a specific um, activity that is happening in, in their own hometown or in a very specific public discussion, such as political discussions and so on. And we need to question all of these things with them. And we need to kind of understand the, the background that they are bringing into these discussions. And in this sense, I kind of follow this uh, philosophy in every training that I do, in every workshop that I did, is actually to understand the young person and where they are coming from. As, as um, teachers in kindergarten, when they go on the knees um, because the children are small, uh, we also need to kind of get back as a youth worker to our age of 16 and our age of 20 and our age or whatever, in order to understand how these people are um, how these young people of today uh, are questioning things. So the topics have changed, the approach of young people has changed, the life is different, but still, you know, everybody wants to be happy in love, finish the high school uh, perfectly, and, you know, like start the university if possible, earn money and so on. So this doesn't make a difference if you work in Berlin. Um, Sarajevo or Podgorica. So it's like it's really same for a young person and to, to click and to make this, you know, like thing inside of them to start making steps toward participation. I think it's very important to be human. differences and um, but still if you if you wear young pe young people's shoes if you try to understand and really openly talk uh, and really engage them in, in something that it's it, it's their thing uh, and if you try to adjust the the, uh, the atmosphere and the environment that you are using in working with them so um, then you need to kind of target the things that they are interested in. So yes, maybe in Berlin or in Vienna, it's more easily to start a conversation and political dialogue with young people. 
I guess, but I also think that in some suburbs of Vienna and Berlin, it's very difficult to do that. Um, maybe in Sarajevo, as a post-conflict country, as a capital of post-conflict country, is a bit different than to work this same thing in Mostar that is divided still. Um, it's a different level of challenge for youth workers, I would say. Challenge in the sense that also youth workers need to go out of their uh, like uh, regular box of working and really take the perspective of a young person. When I say to wear the shoes of a young person, I also really think that we need to understand and get to know with young people. So not become friends, but actually get to know what's going on in their lives, what is important to them, and why all of a sudden there is a group of young people in front of you in, interested in the environment. Is it Greta Thunberg that it's bringing this as a, a new thing into, into, into their world? Or is it the river next door that is polluted and that it's something that is like really their own and that they want to change? So it's, it's really, um, regardless, I mean, both are very important, um, but you know, like how to, put, how, to, how to start these discussions with young people is, is very important. And then from maybe environment, you start discussing participation and how they can make decisions and how it takes time um, it also takes a lot of effort and creativity from youth workers because you really need to be out there and you need to talk to people and you need to, um, in today's world, I also think you need to be a bit, you know, like creative and fun and interesting to young people, not a clown, but, you know, somewhere over there. Um, but uh, for a certain age of group of young people is also very important how you approach. And then there is a big, huge uh, space to cooperate with their parents, school, and the community, like generally, how you push them into discussion on a public discussion, but also how you invite others, other stakeholders on the discussion to talk to young people. work in a grassroots organization that maybe you, you also don't know, but I started as a volunteer and an activist in an organization by putting myself into, you know, like uh, taking photos that should be used as a social example of certain things. And I worked as in, a, in a youth club. Now I'm working in a youth policy and, um, and also introducing youth work as a tool into youth policy and youth participation. And I think it's very um, it's very important to bring things together. Um, and in this sense, how, how I use it throughout all the organizations that I worked with and I, that I cooperate even today with is, is the fact that by understanding where young people are standing and what they're standing for is also opening the doors and the windows in their heads what other people are standing for and why is it so. So very often young people are lacking information or... Um, they are, or the informations are not introduced to them in their youth-friendly way. So the youth worker should bridge this. Sometimes it's working with young person in particular. Sometimes it's with a, um, with, uh, with a group of young people. But once you grab uh, and grasp what they are about, then you can kind of put this, you know, like put, put this uh, bridge to float somewhere where the direction should go. So if they want to... If they want to work in an environment field, then they need to get organized and then the trainings and the workshop settings are very important to be set as, as such. And youth worker can facilitate all these processes, but expertise also can come from other young people. You can bring other stakeholders. The expertise can be a person from, from their school or a parent that is you know, living down the street and um, some of the professors in their faculties and so, and so on and so on. So in, in this sense, it's also how you create as a youth worker the, the, the environment where all of these things are taking place uh, and also introducing the policy level of decisions. So if you start working with a young person, then you need to kind of follow the steps and build up from there. Uh, in order for them to understand why is it important to be a part of the youth um, council, local youth council, why is it important to, to talk to a local councillor, um, political party or whoever on the specific issue that they are interested in. And in this, in, in this sense, either you create a workshop or you create a dialogue space or you create a meeting. Whatever you do is that you try to bring this topic that is important to a group of young people to eyes of other stakeholders 
um, and let them fight a bit. You know, like you push them a bit in a, into a fire, uh, into a fire to uh, to kind of stand for their own uh, things and and you know give them feedback af afterwards. And then they build up. It, sometimes it takes years. Yeah. This is something as an expertise, as a youth work as an expertise, I think it has a bit different um, different stages and it's in a different stages across the Europe. So Western Balkans are not very um, happy. I, I, I'm not happy with the youth work in the Western Balkans. There's a, there a numbers of great initiatives. There's numbers of great organizations doing really quality youth work. But still, in a, in a context of sustainability, we are still very much, or majority is, uh, is uh, project-based and donors uh, um, funded. Yeah? And in this sense, uh, I think young people, youth workers, and other stakeholders in, in the youth field also need to take, in the Western Balkans, need to take a step forward in a sense of sustainability. Because the governments also, also need to understand that development of the youth work as an expertise and as a, as a field generally and support to this field is opportunity to actually um, uh, lack, put the less brain drain happening, uh, solve some other issues. Because for me, as a philosophy, youth work is a tool of prevention of different things in the society. Then a youth work can step in as creating environment where a young person feels safe to contribute, to share, um, to also be weak um, and to ask questions that they cannot ask their parents, their school or their like um, close surroundings. And in this sense, youth work can be a prevention for so many things if we use it as a tool and if all the organizations dealing with some other, maybe other specific youth issues are considering youth work as a tool and investment into youth workers as investment in a, as we invest, to a certain point, uh, to formal education, we also really need to start as a country to invest into non-formal education. And youth work maybe is one of the spaces where this should be done. Another, another lack of the things that just come up my mind is the fact that youth workers, in, in at least in Bosnia, but I also think it's, uh, it's in the region and also probably in, uh, widely in Europe, they're not only doing the youth work as their daily job, they are doing additional job probably uh, somewhere in Europe, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. They're also writing projects, writing reports. They're not, they're not fully employed into youth centers to be with young people and to create um, content for young people, but rather also they're very in a backhand and um, talking to donors and doing policy level work and, and so on and so on. So in this sense, Governments need to understand where they can use youth work as a tool for prevention of society, is different issues uh, of young people. Youth work creates an um, environment where a young person who never taught to be a participant in something, but is frustrated with, um, with no lightning in their street in a hometown in Western Balkans, which is very often here. Um, and they're afraid to come home late night because there's no light, or they're, they're just frustrated with the fact that the you know, next door town has the lights, street lights. So if they want to contribute to this, to, to the solution of this, they're perhaps creative or innovative and so on, but they are self-taught and the school cannot follow up on this. So youth work creates an atmosphere where this can happen. Uh, and where these ideas on how to, you know, like light up the street or do whatever other things society needs can be a contribution. Also youth work creates an environment where a young person, once they once they participate, um, we bridge we bridge throughout the youth work um, their self esteem, their willingness to do certain things. Uh, we build so soft skills that school cannot cope with. Um, the school is still very slow 
uh, very old fashioned and very boring for young people. So we need to create atmospheres where, you know, new IT um, skillful um, coaching young people are inspiring other young people. So in this sense, it's, it's very important. Um, and we are bridging the, throughout the skills that, that we are giving to young people in, 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 the, in the youth work field, we are bridging these kind of things and um, uh, giving them enough self-esteem self to, to fight what they're standing for. On the, on the other hand, it's also bringing the, the, the engagement of other stakeholders and noticing young people and acknowledging that there are solutions that young people are not the issue, that they shouldn't be treated or talked as an issue, but rather as a part of the solution for certain things in societies. Ooh, many things, but I would say that youth workers need to start cooperating more, more networking, and they need to start making more connections between young people across the Europe. And that good stories need to be shared more often than the bad stories. Uh, and I would say to young people across the Europe that it's never late, that it's never late, too late to start participation. There are so many things that we can make decisions, small steps and small decisions, and we can contribute to the decisions. Sometimes it's difficult, but that's what makes it fun also. So just, you know, like whatever happens around you and um, it brings you questions and challenges you, ask yourself how you can contribute to this. And is there a decision in your hometown or in your building that you can contribute with, with your idea, with solution, and ask um, uh, your next door youth worker uh, how you can uh, follow the example of not having traffic light or not having some, some of the things in your in your hometown, not having a facility over the youth center or school is missing something, just simply ask your youth worker how you can contribute to the policy level, how this can be changed and how your ideas can be coming true.